Good afternoon. My name is Katarzyna Zadrużna. I am a specialist in recruitment and international cooperation at Warsaw Film School. I would like to welcome you on our webinar. Uh, let me introduce Mrs. Veronika Anderson, director, screenwriter, actress, our graduate and our lecturer. Uh, her short uh, Liberation Vicky uh, Fuck It's Biology were awarded at many international uh, film festivals. Welcome, Veronika. Thank you, Katarzyna. It's very, it's very nice to have you here. It's very and, nice to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Marek Wrocki, uh, the director, also our, uh, our um, lecturer. And um, graduate. <laughs> <laughs> and graduate. Uh, he directed the original movie and TV series version of The Witcher. Uh, he was also co-working with other famous uh, directors, among others um, Andrzej Wajda, Roman Polański, Krzysztof Zanussi and Steven Spielberg. Welcome, Marek. Welcome, it's, welcome. It's also very nice, nice to, to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> um, during today's webinar, we would like to present you our international studies programs. Uh, we would like to share our experience, what it's like being a student at Warsaw Film School. And uh, we would like to show you um, a brief information on enrollment procedure uh, to help you uh, to decide if uh, Warsaw Film School is the right place uh, for you, I hope yes. <laughs> um, please, please feel free to ask questions during this meeting. Um, we will try to answer um, all your inquiries. However, if we want to do this during the meeting, we will uh, we will write uh, the information on on um, on 
on Facebook. You can also write your questions to my uh, email international at warsawfilmschool.com. Hmm, maybe let's start uh, from this our school's description because in my opinion, uh, it's very important to, to tell you that um, there in Poland, there are only three uh, universities that, um, that grant BA diplomas. And we are the only one uh, with program held in English uh, in English uh, language. Um, we are situated in very good uh, location. It's almost the city center near the old town. Uh, uh, very well communicated, so it's quite easy to get almost everywhere in the in the city. And also, it's very good advantage to. Uh, for location scouting during your during your studies. <laughs> um, what else? In my opinion, very important thing is that our lecturers are professionals like Marek, like Veronica, because they still they still work on their own projects and they can share their experience with you. Uh, it's not this. It's not the the simple school that you've got lectures. You open your books, you note, but uh, but you can learn by heart and to uh, to get the experience to, to to experience together with other students, because um, I think that our programs are more practical programs. Marek, can you please tell us something more about teaching in this school? What knowledge our students can gain during uh, their studies? Yes, Katarzyna, this it's really it's a matter of fact. This is a very strange school because, and the strange school in the meaning of strange teaching because this teaching this is not a teaching like uh, people used to understand that somebody is just giving. Uh, um tutor is giving the lectures and people are making the notes not at all we are mm, filmmakers and we share our experiences you said and this is just like a main uh, deal main goal in the school and let's say that during the first year of education during this time uh, we expect that our students they will show us who are they yes and uh, Mm, they will show us that they are really ready to learn something by, by themselves. This is not like we will teach you this and this. No, we will give you, we will try to give you people some tools and we will uh, watch very carefully how it looks like about your development. What, who are you and are you really a filmmakers? And do you understand what it really means? And after this first year, I think that Veronica can confirm it. After this first year, we treat our students like uh, our younger colleagues. Of course, in the meaning that uh, we all are like one big family, family of filmmakers doing uh, almost the, 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 the same thing. Yes. And what is the same thing? The same thing is that we are all. Uh, storytellers, and this is our, 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 our duty. Yes. What do you think, Veronica? Is, is it? Is it looks like that. <laughs> <laughs> I would say definitely. I agree with you that we are all storytellers, and I also wanted to go back a little bit to what you said about after the first year, uh, <laughs> because the first year is the most exciting year for a student. When I remember back at my time, uh, when I uh, enrolled in the school and I arrived and how intense that first year is. It's so filled with adventure, excitement, meeting new friends in school, learning uh, the different departments, working together, finding, building your small film crews, finding other uh, people that also are storytellers and also how intense this first year is because we have great film exercises that are practical. 
So you get to make five films uh, your first year, which is amazing, I think. Sorry to interrupt, Veronica, six. Because, six. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, six. <laughs> uh, because, yes, because now we talk about, uh, about um, five short etudes that students uh, have to uh, prepare during the first, the first year as film exercises, as film exams. Uh, but in my opinion, uh, it's very good to start from uh, from hard work because students they start from uh, from the very first day working with camera. Uh, they write scripts. Uh, they uh, they learn how to how to edit their projects. Uh, Veronica, uh, you've got very nice uh, you've got very nice uh, class. I think from idea to film. And you are also the one um, who uh, who provide the practical knowledge uh, uh, on 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 the filmmaking. And uh, what I can add, I hope, because we still are not sure how the new academic year would look like. But I hope that we back to normality. And uh, because uh, and um, in our school we've got full scale cinema for 400 seats, uh, and uh, all uh, all movie exams, all film exams take place in this uh, in this um, cinema, and it's also um, it's also a very um, very good experience for our students first to feel. Uh, the atmosphere of the cinema. How to? How is it to watch your own uh, your own movie on big screen? But also, uh, our students can teach during uh, can learn during uh, such exams because uh, I think Marek can tell us because he is the jury member how it uh, how our exams movie exams uh, look like. So maybe we can, I mean, we have to say from the very beginning right now to the people applying to our school that uh, this is probably only one school when you were, you pay for critics, as a matter of fact, because uh, this is not a place where somebody will tell you, oh, you are so good, your movie is fantastic. Even if this movie is really fantastic, you will know it why. But if something is wrong, you will know it immediately. You will really, you will really get. Uh, uh, you will really have uh, the feedback. What was wrong? What you have to improve? Because uh, this is the way how we work with our students also during those exams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if somebody thinks that he will pay for the studying here, and then everybody will will just you know cheer him and they will, oh yes, you are very good. Yeah, no, no, this is uh, the wrong point. Veronica, of you, uh, sorry, yeah. Veronica, uh, how do you think uh, is the critic the right way to show young people uh, what they should improve? And uh, sh should, as, 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 as also as a young creator, do you think that making mistakes are something bad, or something wrong? I think uh, making mistakes is a way of learning. And I think that the screen never lies. Uh, so you often see uh, our dear chancellor always says uh, the screen never lies. And this is uh, uh, sacred truth because you directly after the exam, you see your film, uh, you share your work with your peer students, you share your film, uh, to your teachers and there's a film committee that discusses your work and you directly afterwards understand, okay, so next time maybe I should try more close-ups. Maybe next time I shouldn't have so much dialogue. Maybe next time I should think about this and this. So it's a great opportunity and an extremely uh, well-organized learning experience when it comes, I think, to these five uh, film exercises it's it's a very intense first year, but it it throws you into the deep water and mm -hmm. you uh, definitely learn how to swim <laughs> yeah. yeah for veronica, sure veronica i would like to add something because this is exactly uh, you're absolutely right but also what we have to add that uh, 
our students they should that they should know they should be aware that they have a right to make mistakes and they should do this because yeah, otherwise we'll course. never know what to what, you know uh, how to behave or how to which way is the best for them because mm. you never know how somebody will try to tell his story or his story in his own way this is really something very important because the, we filmmakers we see i think that we see the world in different way through the filter of our sensitivity i don't know i mean so this is always something original okay but also on this original way people uh make mistakes and they have a right to do this and as usual as you said the screen never lies the result on the screen will tell us is it work or not or maybe something needs to be improved and changed yeah. okay so uh, so now guys you know that you will learn swing for the very beginning <laughs> but uh, you will, yeah but uh, you have to remember that you've got huge support uh, in our lecturers in your supervisors uh, because they will talk with you about your projects, they will analyze uh, your project during classes, they will tell you what was wrong, what was okay, what you should improve. Uh, also, uh, we are now we are talking about uh, five shorts and uh, we have to, I think, add that uh, at the end of the, uh, of the semester, of the first year, uh, you will have your final exam, <laughs> your annual exam uh you will have to you will have to work on your uh, not it's still short but it's longer it's longer for and uh, form and and uh, you will have your artistic supervisor you will walk or uh, on your uh on your pitch book veronica is great i think uh, she prepares students very well. We can we can observe it each uh, each year when uh, our students pre present they, their pitch book. Uh, during summer, you will have uh, because uh, in the end of uh, of the second semester in June, you will have uh, the time uh, for presentations. The summer is the time to to make preparations to, for shooting. And uh, in, and in September you will have your screening. I hope it will take place in the cinema. Uh, okay, so we talked a bit about about our programs. Uh, I've got a question to you, Marek and Veronika. Yes. Could you please tell our spectators what are car career opportunities, job opportunities after after graduation of uh, film directing and video games or cinematography and post production programs? Veronika, please start. <laughs> so I think uh, if we look at the students that are currently enrolled at Warsaw Film School. Uh, actually, many of them already start working in the industry while they are studying. So, for example, we have a great number of uh, cinematography students that uh, work on different TV sets or they work on commercials. We also have uh, film directing students that do some assistant jobs. Um, so it really also depends on how you are as a student and how uh you know how how you push forward but there's definitely great number of opportunities in poland because it's a huge industry and also the situation of the school that it's in the middle of warsaw um and as you mentioned earlier many of the lecturers also have big projects that they sometimes invite students to uh, be on their film sets when i was a student for example i was on marek brodsky's uh, film set <laughs> Uh, maybe you can talk a little bit about uh, that experience. It was amazing. It was my first big studio film set, for example. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also I remember it, and I was uh, so proud that I got my students with me on the set, and I could show them this, you know, the staging and everything. Yeah, because we were shooting in, a, in a, one of the biggest uh, film studios in Warsaw. This is National Film Studio, you can say. Uh, 
but also about those professions, Veronica, what you said. I think that uh, some people are coming here. Some part of people would like to be a director. Some people would like to be a cinematographers. Uh, just the, the others, we have a, this 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 video game stuff and the sound department, and it's really in their range. They they can do this, and this is not like a, something incredibly complicated to be a film director. I will tell you, people, if you are listening right now, I will tell you uh, the best way to be a director and to have a work not only in Poland but also everywhere. I will tell you what they have to do. You have to do, you have to shoot good movie like Veronica did it, okay? Because if you got good movie, you will appear with this movie on many film festivals. And you got the red carpet, you are happy with those prizes, with everything. We as school, we are really happy because this is, uh, you know, this is our student, our work. And I mean, our student and the um, person who came from our school, but nevertheless, this is the very success success with her movies, and the world is open to Veronica Anderson. Of course, she was, for now she was also working with us, but also Veronica is a person who is uh, somehow responsible for all these actions with the movies. Veronica is sending the movies for the festivals, and she's doing incredibly good job because. We still hear that our movies, I mean, our students' movies, they are, they have a successes in this festival and other and many others. But this is the, probably the best way for the directors, because for DOPs, it's much easier, I would say. There is a lot of work for DOPs, for cinematographers, in the commercials, in many places. They really, they have a, a lot of work. But for directors to, to shoot the movies, to be involved in their profession, this is the, probably the best way to, to, to shoot the movie, to get the prices for it, to, to be uh, present in the festivals. And later, they will find you. They will just call you. Am I right, Veronica? Yes, yeah. you are totally right. Sorry to interrupt because uh, because uh, you told about about work for directors, but we have to remember that our unique program, film um, film directing in video games, has got this module video games. And what is important? This is not video games um, designing, but uh, this module prepares young people to uh, to write stories to create stories for video games which is i think in my opinion very popular uh, right now uh, even the project the city project that um, the company responsible for the witcher uh, video game uh, they asked us some time ago for directing students uh, for the internship who could uh, who could help uh, them uh, in writing stories for for their new uh, games. But let's back to film festivals. Veronica, please tell us what are the chances for our students' uh, films to concur on uh, film festivals. So I think it it always starts with uh, having a great story, making a good short film. But then I think what's uh, really un unique about Warsaw Film School is that uh, we really push for student films to make it in the film festival circuit, which means that the school each year sends out uh, the student films to the most important film festivals all over the world. And uh, what uh, Mr. Marek Brodsky said also, this is a unique opportunity for students to actually meet the audience, to meet the industry, to travel to these film festivals, to be invited, to be an accredited guest at the film festival, to meet other uh, director, uh, directors and um, yeah, to just also watch your own work on the big screen at a film festival. Uh, so many of our student films have uh, made it quite well and won tre tremendous amount of awards. And uh, so, for example, we have a student film that was Oscar nominated, which was Our Curse. Uh, one of our gra graduated uh, students from Warsaw Film School when she graduated made a film Loving Vincent. 
which uh, was also nominated. So we have a great number of films that wow. have had great, <laughs> it's, great Yes, it's impressive. <laughs> it is, it is. But also uh, there are uh, there are lots of uh, film festivals that, I, that uh, qualify to Oscars. And I know that you awarded one of them in Toronto. <laughs> yeah. So we, we have, uh, um, there are also many film festivals that are nominating to the Academy Awards. Uh, so for example, right now we have a student film called The Dress, which uh, just uh, a couple of days ago received the uh, Academy Awards qualifying award from uh, Atlanta uh, Film Festival and uh, so on. And if you go on our website, you can see all the successes of all the different films. Uh, so you have a great opportunity each year, actually. So it's not your BA thesis film that goes into the film festival already on your after your first year with your first year film. Uh, if it's uh, good and if you really uh, make a nice story, then you have a possibility of having it screened at some of the biggest film festivals in the world. Great, thank you, Veronica. I think it's 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 great information for for our viewers uh, because uh, because we as a school we support our student and it's very important for us because our student success is also our school success uh, and we are happy for that. Uh, of course, uh, I think other other very important thing that um, uh, that we we should say right now that uh, you don't work on your project alone. You've got lots of people around you, your colleagues from different departments, not only from your year, but your older colleagues, colleagues from uh, from uh, other divisions like production, like sound design, like editing. Uh, you can cooperate. Uh, uh, you can cooperate together on the success, and of course, uh, and of course, you've got you've got our lectures. The, the, they are open. Uh, they are open every time for 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 students. That the, they uh, they try to uh, they try to um, show you which path you should go to 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 succeed. Okay, we talked uh, we talked a bit about programs, uh, about uh, about film festivals and successes, great successes. Uh, so maybe let's talk about about enrollment process uh, because it's it's the first step you should you should take to 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 get the admission to the school. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it is not so difficult to apply because uh, you've got our website on our website uh, you can find a tab apply and uh, in this uh, in this section you've got whole information uh, on documents that you should um, that you should prepare among others uh, it's your uh, it's your secondary school diploma and this is because uh, you apply for uh, for BA program, uh, it's undergraduate graduate program. So this is uh, your secondary school diploma is required. It should be legalized, apostilled. It depends on the country uh, that you come from. Uh, you should you should also submit um, a translation of your diploma and uh, and uh, transcript of your records, uh, your scan of your passport. Uh, but uh, and uh, sorry application form which is i think the most important because we should know that that you want to apply so your application form containing uh, your personal data uh, you will also attach there uh, all uh, all documents but hmm, uh, let's focus on portfolio because uh, each year we've got lots of uh, lots of questions regarding portfolio uh, there are several several um, propositions you can uh, you can submit uh, it can be a short movie it can be editing uh, it can be a script it can be a photo script uh, it, it can be short description uh, of uh, the game idea but Marek I would like to ask you a question about portfolio in your opinion uh, 
what is the best thing to present to convince mm -hmm. us <laughs> that, uh, that the candidate is creative young person and we would love to invite such person to our school? This is pretty simple. Uh, I, uh, it depends. Are you going to be a director or cinematographer? Yes, because they are the main two uh, parts of um, people being interested in and uh, um, trying to, to apply to our school. So about the directors, what I would like to say, this is just very simple. I would like to see a person who is uh, having an idea for himself as a director somebody who understands what it really means to be a director and somebody who uh, is already prepared with some, I don't know, story or with a short movie, not long movie. I do not expect that somebody will bring me the half an hour of the movie. It's better to have a short uh, project, something that is not so... Uh, of course, if somebody will bring me and I have, I will have a time to watch all of it and Katarzyna as well, also because it's our duty to check it out. But it's enough sometimes to have a two minutes of good, strong story, and we will be very happy because this is like a big the starting point for education, for sharing this experience, for to be um, together in our school. About the cinematographers. The situation is the situation is a, a little bit different because cinematographer. This is somebody. I will give you a tip right now, who can see the light, who understands the light, and who knows how light is important in the cinema. Okay, in the picture, because cinematographer. This is not this person who is looking through the eye of the camera through the lens. This is the camera operator. The cinematographer, director of photography, this is the person who is responsible for lighting, for atmosphere, of uh, for picture, okay? And how this light will appear in the picture, how it looks like. This is something what, uh, th this is the cinematographer's duty. And in this first meeting, we would like to see what this candidate, what this person applying, what he really thinks about the light, about the, the framing, about the content in the frame, okay? This is important. And it's really mm, better to have a less but high quality things than rather thousands and tons of the photographs. Very often they are just random pictures because, you know, or, just the pictures because somebody said, oh, somebody told me that this is uh, nice, they like it, but no. And this is also very important, matter of decision. You, this is your first decision, what you are going to show us, okay? It's a very important decision. Is it five, seven, ten good pictures or 25, but half of them is just the trash? Okay, right? Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh, Veronica, do you have any advice for candidates who, uh, who, would, like to, who, who would like to apply uh, about, about uh, the enrollment, the, the interview, or, or maybe to preparing the portfolio? I think the most important thing is to just really be yourself and to let your personality shine through your work uh, and try to tell your stories stories that you really want to tell. Uh, I remember when I was uh, in the midst of applying to Warsaw Film School because I'm from Sweden. So it was quite a big decision for me to apply for a film school in a different country. And I did some research and I, I looked online and found Warsaw Film School. And actually, I what really made me decide to apply to Warsaw Film School was that I understood that it was a practical school, that it's not just sitting and reading books, but that you actually make films 
and of course, when I was applying, I was super nervous, as you always are, because it's such a huge like personal investment because you you really put your your soul and 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 your creative aspect into your work. Uh, so I would say just go for it and don't be afraid to you know show something different and uh, but also. I think what's important is that you also know a little bit of film history, that you have some favorite film directors, that you have some favorite films which inspire you, that you actually know something about films. Uh, for example, if you apply for cinematography and post-production, so who is your favorite editor? Who, which film has uh, amazing color that inspires you, for example, in the color grading? Uh, who is a cinematographer that inspires you a lot? So, so know also, uh, you know, the film history and know a little bit before you, you also prepare your own work. Yeah, especially that uh, this is not, this is not, uh, studies like engineering or medicine that that you've got straight rules it's like that like that yes because uh, we've got lots of genres we've got uh, lots of uh, cr film critics so uh, every I, in my opinion everyone likes totally different different things uh, in uh, i think that the most important thing is your is your creativity mm, because if you are if you are a creative person, I think that you could you could do anything you want, and you can write any story you would like. Because the idea how to show your uh, how to show your I, the idea how to show your idea uh, it's uh, it's it's um, very important. So if you like telling stories, if you uh, if you just uh, if you just um, want to try, if it's also for you, because uh, because I think that the first year is is very crucial because during the first year you are able to to decide if it's if it's real the path for me because it's really hard work for from the very beginning. So if you're ready for hard work and you are creative, yes, this is the place for you. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, we've got some questions. Uh, Mr. Osama Alorabi asks us, what is the difference between filmmaking and gaming and cinematography and post-production? Marek, maybe you would like to ask this question, <laughs> uh, answer this question, sorry. No, 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 just... Uh, mm. This is uh, the filmmaking, you, uh, I mean, uh, the, the, the video gaming, you already said how, uh, what is so typical in our school for video gaming, because this is not only uh, the process of code writing, this is more creativity, this is more the, um, uh, the, the, the video games from point of view of the director who is trying to build the story. However, they are they also do a lot about um, this technical part of the video game. I'm not involved in it because uh, this is something what I'm admiring and me as a gamer, <laughs> I used to play the video games with pleasure, okay? But uh, yeah, and I'm really respecting and admiring people having, you know, those skills to to, to create the video games. But the rest, the filmmaking, in the filmmaking, you've got really a, a wide range of people because they are, of course, directors, they are cinematographers, they are editors, they are producers, and the, the sound creators, they're also, we have a sound creation. But um, yeah, and there is a lot of, people being involved in this business, in this filmmaking. So the main, dif the main difference between the director and cinematographer is that this director is responsible for everything. Cinematographer is somehow a person who is responsible for the picture, but this picture also depends on 
direct or finally? Veronica, you know what I mean. This is it's not like that that you have a different uh, per, I mean different person called cinematographer. He's doing his own movie, and you as a director, you are putting your actors on the set and you are doing your job. No, this is all your set. And cinematographer is a person who is helping you to create this atmosphere, to create the beautiful light, and to do something that will be absolutely outstanding and shocking and great. Because, my dear friends, it is not a matter to tell the story only. The matter is to tell the story on this way that everybody will be really astonished and they would tell you, wow, I've never, I couldn't expect, wow, this is incredible. This is something what we really are trying to, to get. This is our goal. This is our objective. Okay? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I've got other questions from Phil, photo video. What is the eligibility? Uh, if, you, okay. if you are a person, who graduated from high school, you've got, you've got your high school diploma and uh, this high school diploma allows you to apply for higher studies in your country if you are, uh, if you are a person who is creative Please, please feel free to to apply for for our BA programs because uh, we don't have any um, age limits. Uh, we've got students almost in uh, all ages, <laughs> uh, and I think it's very good. It's very good opportunity also for 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 the especially for the for those younger students to. Uh, to 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 collaborate with the older colleagues because they can they uh, they gain from their the the all the older colleagues experience and uh, it's beautiful and uh, and I think that also uh, older older students they are more more calm and uh, when we see all those students oh very nervous before before exams. Yeah, the other ones. Okay, take it easy, <laughs> because because probably it's not it, it is not their first exam in their life. So, <laughs> so yeah, so they are more calm. Uh, and yes, yeah, so so I think that the the only thing that you that you need uh, you need to to apply is um, is your secondary school diploma and and a good uh, good portfolio. Uh, okay, we've got um, other questions from Omini. It's also very, uh, it's also very, very technical question. What is the minimum percentage or CGPA required to get enrolled in the in the film school? Uh, as I said, if you pass your final exams and you've got your uh, and you've got your the, your secondary school diploma, you are able to apply uh, because for us, more important is uh, your creativity and what person, uh, what person you are than your grades. Because uh, everyone knows that sometimes uh, you've got worse day and and you didn't get uh, and you didn't get the best uh, the best grade that you uh, that you can. Okay, guys, I think that this is the all we would like to say. Marek, Veronika, would you like to add so, something? Veronica okay, would first, like to then, tell? okay, Veronika, please start. Is, is, is there anything that you would like to say from your heart to other, to other candidates, to our viewers? I think that uh, if you really think that storytelling is something that you love doing, then you shouldn't think twice of applying to Warsaw Film School because it's an amazing film school. And my three years that I spent in the school uh, are three years that I cherish, will cherish my whole life. I met some of my great, greatest friends. Uh, I built strong friendships. Uh, some of the uh, students I still uh, make films together with. 
uh, it was three extremely intense years that really changed my life. And uh, I, it also taught me how to make great films. Uh, so yeah, I, I would definitely apply. And I would like to say being also an international student, I know that it's, uh, mm, you often think of, oh, how is it to move to a different country? Uh, and how is it living in Warsaw? For, so for me, what was amazing about Warsaw, and uh, it has to do with the fact of the situation of the school, that it's really in the center, that you have the subway really close by, that you have uh, great locations where you can shoot your films. Uh, you have great restaurants and pubs and uh, just an amazing, uh, amazing city to live in and to make films in. Great, thank you very much. Marek? Um, I, would, I would like to say that uh, this is also something important in our relationships. I mean, the relationship between us, teachers, and you guys, you students. I can say uh, in my name, I'm really curious about you, okay? <laughs> so please feel welcome, come to our school, and we will have a really a lot of fun we will have a really nice time all together and uh, i'm curious who are you because this is not like that that i'm giving you something only yeah my experience i'm also getting something from your side because you are fresh new interesting people coming from all the world to our film school and you are bringing also something. And this is really interesting. Everybody are really interesting. And I'm interested in you, okay? So please come to us and we will share our experiences and we will shoot great movies all together. Thank you very much, Marek. I would like to thank you for being with us. I hope uh, you, you spent this uh, uh, almost an hour uh, with us, you, you, we weren't boring, you weren't bored. <laughs> Thank you for all your questions. Uh, we will uh, answer to all your inquir inquiries for sure. Um, what can I say? Uh, I love students, I love new students. I try to help them as much as I can, of course. And so if you've got any questions, don't bother that this can be stupid question. I all I, I always answer all questions and remember there are no stupid questions. So thank you very much uh, for being with us and have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, Marek. Thank you, Veronica. Thank, thank you, you very much.